Topic one: Powering discs and chambers. The purpose of the powering disc is to pump the separated oil and water away from the bowl. In the past, this task was performed by gear pumps driven from the horizontal shaft of the gearbox. The kinetic energy in the rotating liquid is changed into pressure energy by the powering disc. The powering disc can be considered as being a centrifugal pump in reverse. For example, where the impeller is fixed and the casing is rotating. Oil and water powering discs. This is the water powering disc. This is the oil powering disc. The powering discs are fixed to the frame and are thus stationary. Oil and water powering chambers. The oil powering chamber is for the oil powering disc, and the water powering chamber is for the water powering disc. Topic two: powering disc function. The liquid, oil or water in the powering chambers is being driven by the rotation of the bowl. Increasing the flow. As the flow of dirty oil being fed to the separator is increased, it follows that the powering disc will have more to pump away. So, with an increased flow, the level has to move inwards, decreasing the back pressure. The depth to which the periphery of the powering disc is immersed into the rotating liquid within the powering chamber depends on the downstream pressure in the discharge line. As the back pressure decreases. The inner level of the rotating liquid in the powering chamber moves outwards, increasing the back pressure. When the downstream pressure, back pressure, is increased, the inner level of the rotating liquid in the powering chamber moves inwards. You should also be aware that the capacity of the powering disc can be exceeded. This can happen by having too high feed rate to the separator, and also more commonly by increasing the back pressure too much. As an operator of this equipment, you should be aware of this.